Ah! Throw your hands to the sky. Jaya! 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 Jaya means victory. You see me doing that all the time. I've been doing that for years and it feels really good. This video is not going to be too serious, okay? So don't hold that against me. The topic is uh, five ways to escape reality. You know, sometimes reality just becomes this kind of frame, which is slightly boring. And what is reality anyway? If you come to me and say, well, I dreamt about that, but this was not real, who says that your dreams are not real? Who says that they are not more real than the physical reality? The fact that something doesn't have a physical body into the, the physical incarnation, the fact that it cannot be perceived with our five senses, doesn't mean that it's not real. Okay? <laughs> There's more beyond the limits of our perceptions. So, how to escape reality, how to go back to the inner world, how to, how to open gateways of consciousness and energy beyond the limits of the rational, physical, five-sense reality. You know, we want to go into psychic, energetic dimensions. We want to expand. So, here are five ways to escape reality. The first one is make fun of everything. Try that, okay? For a day, you just make fun of everything. Make fun of yourself, make fun of the people you meet. That's a very effective way to lose your friends, by the way. So if there is somebody who is bothering you in your life and if you need a little bit of space, here we go. Just make fun, make fun of everything. Just enjoy the free flow playfulness. And you will see that this is going to freaking open spaces around you that you might not ever imagine where possible. Make fun. Enjoy it. Second tactic. Change your mind. Change your mind all the time. Instead of sticking to one frame that you think, okay, this is who I am, you know, within this box and this is my agenda for the week. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Just allow yourself to be free flow and change your mind. That's tactic number two very effective way to escape the reality, the prison that you build for yourself. The third tactic, which is a little bit along the same way, is be impulsive. Just do things because it feels right at that moment rather than because it fits within a plan or an agenda. Not your agenda, not somebody else's agenda, but just be impulsive. Another tactic is speak in sounds. You can say so much in non-verbal understanding. You know, your emotions understand. They understand what I just said. They, the part of you doesn't, you know, you cannot rationalize, you cannot lock it, but it means something to you. The emotions that I just shared with you are real. They are just communicated in a way which is non-verbal. Non um, another tactic. This is going to piss off lots of people around you, is deny everything. Every time somebody tries to lock you in, say, this is who you are, this is what you do, you say, no, no, that's not true. I'm more than this, I'm more than that. Expand yourself and just be in denial of everything. <laughs> you know, it's a fun one. All, all this stuff, not take myself too seriously right now, but seriously, when you go into the fooling mode, when you go into this Hanuman mode, when you go into this space where you just disconnect with rational thinking, with having to be in a certain way, and you allow yourself this expansion, then uh, a lot of uh, cool stuff starts, starts happening. That's it. Make fun of everything, change your mind, be impulsive, speak in sound, deny everything. Here is another one. Walk away. <laughs> you know, something doesn't serve you and something is boring to you, just be like, wow, it looks like I'm bored right now. Let me go somewhere else where I might not be bored. You know? And um, again, you know, a lot of these tactics, because you, you, you break the frames, are going to piss off lots of people. You know, it's possible. But at the same time, it's a certain degree of playfulness. I have a, a few fools right now in my field, you know, a few people who are playful and, and just breaking the frames all the time, you know, they might come in front of my face and just 
look at me with big eyes and not saying a word. And then we start communicating, we start freaking dialogues like that, that don't make sense to anybody but us. And guess what? It's fun, it's playful. The weekend is coming, why not just break the frames and be free, be free, allow yourself to be in freedom and free flow and just not fucking take ourselves so seriously. I'll see you soon.